As we told you earlier, a task force is working to identify crimes committed during the JMU Spring Fest. The Harrisonburg Police Department says several agencies are reviewing pictures and videos of the Spring Fest to identify individuals involved in criminal activity. The task force is comprised of the Harrisonburg Police Department, the State Police, the Commonwealth Attorney's Office, the Attorney General's Office, and some employees of JMU. The task force met for the first time yesterday morning. And joining us now to discuss the task force is Mary Hope Vass, Public Information Officer with the Harrisonburg Police Department. Mary Hope, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me, Bob. Now, why is this task force necessary? Right now, the task force is looking to identify individuals who, in, who are involved in criminal activity from the event on April 10th um, and press charges to those responsible. So you've already made a number of arrests. Is the task force looking for additional evidence for those arrested, or is this primarily additional crimes that were committed that haven't been charged yet? There were 15 arrests that were made of individuals who were failing to leave um, the incident once it was declared an unlawful assembly. And right now the main goal is to identify um, those individuals who have not yet been charged. Um, and they, they were doing things like throwing bottles at um, officers, assaulting officers, and we're really working to identify those individuals. What is the task force reviewing to identify these individuals? What are you looking at? Um, the police department gathered um, a good amount of video footage as well as pictures um, the evening of the incident. And also there have been a lot of postings on the internet that we have captured and are re reviewing as well. Okay. Um, the disc with pictures from the breeze that was seized on Friday, I guess this has not been viewed by the task force? That's correct. Okay. Uh, will the task force seek additional pictures and videos from other media outlets? Um, I'm not sure of that at this time. We have had a lot of individuals email us voluntarily providing um, different links to videos and pictures just to make sure we had them. So we really do appreciate some of the community's response in assisting with this investigation. Um, how do you go about identifying individuals? You're looking at a video, uh, you see somebody throwing a bottle, someone has to say, well, that's so-and-so, uh, I would, how do you go about identifying them? Sure, the first step has been to actually review all the video. There's a lot of hours that goes into looking at um, trying to determine who is responsible for what. Um, we do have a lot of resources with this task force to try to see if anybody does recognize the individuals. And in the, down the road, we may look towards the media and the community um, to help identify individuals. And this may um, be something that happens long term, um, but we certainly want, um, want those accountable um, to be responsible. I would think since we're dealing with students that the people that would know them best, other than professors, would be fellow students. So have you been able to enlist the cooperation of, of attendees of Springfest or people who were there to say, well, yeah, I know those people and that's horrible that Charlie seen throwing that bottle? Sure, that's something we're going to we're going to look into um, during the investigation. Right now our main focus has been um, to capture the pictures of the individuals actually throwing items. So um, when we go through the identification process, we're definitely going to look for additional resources to identify the individuals responsible. Now the task force, uh, obviously this requires time and resources. Uh, you've already made a number of arrests. Um, how much longer does this spring fest go on? Does the, the, does the task force go on? Does the investigation go on? It's really hard to put an exact time frame on that, um, but we certainly are going through all the videos and we're looking to, um, once we can get the pictures out and um, get a better idea of who is responsible for this, um, like I said, it's hard to put an exact time frame, but um, we certainly want this to be over just like the rest of the community and we're working for um, some closure with it. Is it possible that some videos may be put out or pictures may be put out a la what's done when someone is caught shoplifting, that here's a three ad a individuals identified throwing bottles, do you know them? Might that happen? Absolutely, and we might look um, towards media and other resources to put that information out there. Um, obviously the task force won't know everybody involved, but we're going to um, do our best to do that. Okay, Mary Hope Vass, the Public Information Officer with the Harrisburg Police Department, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. And now let's send it to Mel.